Welcome back, True Believers. This is Castro Sakio coming back with another Marvel Universe figure review. Um, we were keeping up in the theme of Thor and Thor, and I didn't really get to go over this real quick, and I guess I'll go over it again. I want you guys to look at this particular Thor, and this is a little bit out of my pattern, but what I wanted to point out was his detail on this Thor is identical to the Marvel Legends that's coming out and the Marvel Select. So, to you guys out there that don't think that uh, you can get detail on three and three quarter inch scale, there you go. Well, this is a two part review for two different figures, even though they're the same figure. On one hand, we have the Marvel Destroyer Inferno, and on the other, we have the Marvel Destroyer uh, Fire Blast. Now, I don't know how they operate in the Marvel Universe, uh, movie collection, but you know, in the, in the regular MU lineup, uh, a variant is a variant. Doesn't really have another name to it. In the Thor movie universe, apparently the variant has a whole another name. These two figures are identical except for color. They do the same gimmick. Push them for the light. We get the ET belly. All right, and on the back, they do have two different pictures. Mighty Fire Glow, Mighty Fire Glow, and then of course it tells it talks about uh, how what Odin did to create, or why Odin created the the Destroyer. Uh, Destroyer has a cool story. Um, take a look at the box. It's number twenty. Number eleven. Destroyer um, was created by Odin, and it apparently uses the Odin Force. And if you saw the movie, you saw that Destroyer is indestruct indestructible until Thor whips out the Mjolnir and beats it down. But it is a cool, menacing figure, and although this is a movie, this is part of the movie lineup, uh, the Destroyer itself um, looks very much comic-like. With the exception of not having the garb or the uh, like um, robe piece beneath near his uh, between his legs. Uh, this is a very on-point um, rendition of the comic lineup. Now, Thor, the movie, the Mighty Avenger, the movie series, does not have a comic lineup, unlike Iron Man and uh, the Wolverine Origins. I thought that was kind of bogus because Thor does have a lot of enemies and Thor does have a lot of myth, mythos. But it it's kind of weird because they created the Marvel Universe uh, giant comic um, battle or whatever and they have the frost giant and Loki Loki is a comic figure and the frost giant looks very much like the movie frost giant with a little bit of comic blended into it so you know you get you, you take them and you get them you know you're not gonna get comic anything in this lineup at least not official comic anything but they do a good job so it kinda blends into this universe so Without further ado, let's get both of these boys open. And here they are, folks. Marvel's Destroyer, both in uh, Inferno and uh, Fire Blast. Now, the movie lineup doesn't come with um, doesn't come with any shield files or anything like that. It does come with instructions though, because this is a battery operated uh, enemy uh, it comes with instructions on how to change the battery so I would never think about that because it's pretty self explanatory so let's get them out of there First, let me start off by saying that these figures are both solid, solid, solid figures. Um, somebody once did a review on it, and I, I you know, I caught I, I caught on to it about uh, earlier this year. And although there's not much articulation to these figures, like it's got an arm that goes up and down, it's not ball jointed, and the elbow is a ball jointed elbow. 
and looks like there's wrist articulation here. So, yeah, no ball jointed elbow. No ball jointed shoulder has the ball jointed uh, hips along with swivel on the thigh, double jointed knee, and has this the twist ankle. Now, Inferno is a figure that is definitely pose worthy. Now, the thing about Inferno, get him set here. The cool thing about Inferno is um, this one. Uh, they 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 both represented in the Marvel universe. They they both have identical articulation, by the way. Um, like when you're reading the comics on either one of these guys, when they're in the Thor comics, uh, you'll see both colors. It'll be the same care. Be the same. Uh, I guess robot or defender or whatever it is, but you'll see both colors at different times. Let me get some stands for things. Oh, you know what? Has no peg holes. Look at that. So, I guess they have to stand on their own. Yeah, you'll see both colors of the Destroyer. And um, here's Thor in comparison size. And here's the other Thor in comparison size. Some of you out there are obviously going to point out that Destroyer is not in scale with the Marvel Universe. And you're right. There is a Destroyer that you can buy, but he's kind of hanging out of a box. He doesn't really come in a packaging, and he's not that big, he's not that small. Uh, until they make an actual 6-inch Destroyer, the 8-inch Destroyer will probably do fine for most of you guys in the Marvel Universe lineup. Uh, Destroyer is supposed to be a very tall, huge uh, defender, but he's not bad. He's not horrible. I mean, he's no Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel is another beast altogether. But, um... Yeah, I mean, the movie lineup really needs to get a comic series, and I know the Avengers are coming out with their, their movie, and with that, there will be, uh, I'm sure there will be figures. Hasbro has licensing to all the Marvel goodies, which I love, because Hasbro does a great job. Um, hopefully, when the Ghost Rider movie comes out, we'll finally get some three, three quarter inch Ghost Riders, because I don't really like only just having Johnny Blaze and no bike. You don't know how many bikes I've been hunting for just for Johnny Blaze to ride one, but um, Hasbro did do the six inch for Ghost Rider. Um, they did the six inch and three and three quarter inch for Thor. Uh, right now, right, there's the Thor six inch figures. I think it's like Loki on steroids. Uh, Thor, uh, King of Asgard, which is a re uh, a re a reprint from the Marvel Legends. You know, Hasbro took it over. And then there's the Captain America 6-inch, which has uh, Nick Fury, World War Cap, and movie movie cap. And then there's the 3 and 3 quarter inch. So Hasbro's been dipping their hands into everything. Uh, Two-pack comic for the Captain America lineup. And they have a comic series, a concept series, and a movie series. But Thor has been letting me down. So hopefully when they do the Avengers movie, they have a comic series as well as the movie series with concept series behind it. Uh, all that Marvel Universe goodness kind of oozes out uh, when you give it to us. And, you know, you don't know how hard it was to get that one right there. I could have bought them on eBay and paid, you know, an arm and a leg. This one I kind of ran into by accident at Walmart in Palm Beach. But uh, these two figures are very difficult to get. So I'm glad I got them. I'm glad I could put them in part of my lineup. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It was a little bit informative. You know, give you a. Uh, back shot of what it looks like where the battery the battery goes. Um, stay tuned. Oh, see, no peg holes, no poses. But stay tuned sir, for more Marvel Universe, more Thor, more Cat, more Wolverine, more Spider-Man. I will be coming back to you with another review. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.